My name is Monica Martinez and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida and I'm married for 13 years and uh, we have six children and I homeschool them. Who is the Blessed Mother for me is a great question. Um, it's a question that I'm continuing to answer. Um, she is my mother, but it's taken me a long time to see that. and. I can look back now and see her presence in my life over the years, but she is a very good mother and very patient with me and knows that I've needed her to slowly introduce me to her over the years. So now for me, um, da daily I'm seeing more and more her presence in my life, how much she cares for me, and how she leads me to her son, my brother, my Lord. <laughs> The rosary has taken on a deeper meaning for me the last couple of years. I'm a convert to the Catholic faith, and at first the rosary was just kind of like one of those other like devotions, you know, that you could pick. I could pick and say, oh, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that, and the rosary was just one of those, and one that I didn't understand, and the people that I knew in my life who had a devotion to it, I, I couldn't I didn't understand what the reason for the devotion was because it just sounded very repetitive to me and I wasn't really sure what the point of it was. Now, however, I see the rosary as a part of a relationship. I see it as my conversation that I'm having with Our Lady. I liken it to my mother-in-law. Um, the person that I love more than, than anyone here on this earth is my husband. And how strange would it be if I didn't care for the people that he cares about and who care for him, like his mother. And I can think now of many times where I've sat in just my mother-in-law's kitchen and had conversations with her, and through those conversations have gotten to know more about my husband. And so I see the rosary as my way of getting to know our Lord better through his mother. It is definitely worth it to pray the rosary, but I'm going to say that it's not always easy. <laughs> um, once again, I come back to this idea of a relationship, and I really believe, looking over my life, um, that the most, the best things in life come with a lot of sacrifice, and that would be relationships. And so it's worth it to pray the rosary because it draws us closer to our Lord, it draws us closer to His mother, it helps me to understand things that I can't read, I can't understand sometimes, maybe just by um, praying just spontaneous prayer or by reading something or maybe just even by reading scripture but when I pray the rosary I have time to contemplate on certain moments in our Lord's life from his perspective from the perspective of his mother and so each time I do that I grow closer to her and I grow closer to him which strengthens my faith life and so it is 100% worth it to pray the rosary my favorite mystery of the rosary has to be the wedding at Cana um, part of my conversion was coming to the church because of what I learned about the Eucharist. And so there's so many things going on at the wedding of Cana. I love how um, um, our Lord um, is there doing his first miracle. And I love how um, there is kind of like that almost uh, symbolism coming, you know, with him converting the water into wine. And you're thinking about um, what that means later on and his blood that he's going to shed for us. But um, I also love Our Lady's presence in that moment. Since becoming from a Protestant background, Our Lady was hard for me. At times it was hard for me to, to understand her role and to grow close to her. The wedding at Cana is just that proof that I needed to say, look how important Our, um, Our Lady was in the life of our Lord and how He listens to her and how um, she gently um, suggests to Him uh, to, to do this miracle and he does at her bidding and it's just a great reminder for me that she is there and that she is present and that she hears our prayers and that she goes to the Lord with our prayers and that he hears her. I have not always prayed the rosary um, and, it, and even in my Catholic life, it's, I've been Catholic for 13 years now and I've not always prayed the rosary. I really um, didn't start praying it um, faithfully up until this past year, and I would pray it sporadically. Um, there wasn't a commitment to pray it every day. Maybe I would try once a week or, um, or just for special moments or with certain groups of people, but there wasn't a commitment to it. 
and um, I wanted to start incorporating it into my children's life more and I was always intimidated by that. It just seemed like, oh, this is, it's so long and it's so hard and they're so young and how are they going to sit still and all these questions. Um, but it was through um, the, the encouragement of my spiritual director who basically just said, why aren't you? <laughs> why aren't you praying the rosary every day? And I thought, well, I don't know. And it was so funny because um, this past year in January, we were making our New Year's resolutions and our list was pray the rosary every Friday as a family. That was going to be our our resolution and very quickly into the new year we crossed that off we said pray the rosary every day and that's what we were doing and um, as we have done that it's been amazing because not only have there been great changes in my personal prayer life um, but in my children as well um, and there's like just the more we pray it the more desire there is the more desire there is for things of the Lord but to also just pray the rosary if we go um, a night without praying it or or we didn't um, pray the whole thing. We said, oh, let's just do one or two decades. It's, it's so funny to me how the kids are like, no, we have to pray the whole thing. Or if we didn't pray one night because life got in the way and something happened. We said, oh, we didn't pray the rosary last night. We just feel like something's missing now that if we don't pray it. And um, we desire it now. And that's a beautiful thing to me to, to start something out of um, will, you know, force of will, and then to end up desiring it because the Lord allows that in our hearts.